And so I shared with her everything in that session. And she just sat stone faced looking at the counselor without any movement, without any emotion, almost in shock maybe. And uh, the first words out of her mouth were, I don't know what to do. And the counselor just said, I think now you cry. And as soon as those words left his mouth, just like a dam just broke and I had never seen the pain and anguish on anyone that I witnessed with my own wife seated, not even two feet from me. And uh, so that started the grief process with not just me for the both of us. So tw from 2019 until now, the behaviors, it's almost as if God completely removed, which is, that's how I know that behavior is one thing, but deep down in the heart, why do I still struggle with a desire to want to act out? Why do I still struggle with anger and irritation mostly? And it was the anger and the irritation and speaking with a friend who was struggling with the same stuff. He said, man, I listened to this podcast where the vet did these drugs. Like he had to go some country overseas and did these drugs. And he said it was like life changing. I said, what kind of drugs? What are you talking about? He said, I don't even know how to say it, but it's like some plant. He says, I'll just send you a link to the podcast. When I listened to his podcast, I was just like, yep, check the box. Yep. That's me. Yep. Same symptoms there. Yep. I reacted the same way here. Yep. Right there. What he just said is how his wife said those exact words. My wife has said the exact same words. So I'm like, okay, I'm on board following, I'm following, I'm picking up what you're putting down. And he said, he went down to Mexico and did these medicines, Ibogaine and 5-MeO-DMT and did that protocol in that order and gave his personal testimonial on his journey with both. And when I first heard it, I was just like, yeah, that's crazy. I'm not doing any of that. That's, that's cool, man. That you saw an enlightenment and it, it helped you, but that's crazy stuff. Good for you. In other words, yeah, I'm not doing that. And I don't know if it was because the algorithms and the social media now, because if you watch something on your smartphone, then you're just going to be bombarded with the same type of stuff. That's constantly in my face. But are you telling me like, this is, this is where you're leading me to now? I had the conversation with my wife and she said, at this point, what do you got to lose? So I reached out to another organization and got a phone call that same day. And I said, I'm all in. I got nothing to lose here. And I'm at my wits end. I've tried all this other stuff and it's just progressing, digressing, getting worse. And so that was in late fall of 2021. And I was slated to go the first weekend of February, 2022 almost a year now, I went down to Rosarito, Mexico and did the high beginning in 5-MeO-DMT. That was my first psychedelic journey. And then since then, I've done another one with ayahuasca. That's pretty much gotten me to where I'm at today.